She's a presenter at tonight's Oscars who's worn any number of hats, director, producer, actor. She's even been a desperate housewife. Now, Eva Longoria is a host of a new TV series on the cuisine of Mexico. Lee Cowan serves up our Sunday profile. People think Mexico's just about tacos and tequila, and today we're gonna have tacos and tequila. <laughs> <laughs> When Eva Longoria invited us over to her Beverly Hills home for lunch, well, we assumed it was just that, lunch. But she also served up a bit of culinary history, too. You know, Mexican cuisine is the only cuisine in its entirety protected by UNESCO as a world heritage treasure. Is that right? Yeah, corn, beans, chile, chocolate, vanilla, avocado. And of course, yeah. tequila. We're not gonna get too drunk so your producers don't get scared. <laughs> That's a ranch water cocktail, a drink most say was born in Texas. Taste that, that's for you. While that noodle dish, fideo, is thoroughly Mexican, a bicultural menu just like Longoria herself. When I'm in the United States, I'm, oh, you're Mexican. And when I go to Mexico, they go, oh, the American. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, wait, I, well, yeah, I'm both. I'm 100% Mexican and 100% American at the same time. She was raised in Corpus Christi, Texas, but her Mexican roots date back some 13 generations. When the king of Spain, she says, granted her ancestors some land in what is now South Texas. And you still have it. We still have that land. If you look at an older map, it says Longoria Road. Hola. Hola, buenos dias, bienvenida. Longoria now spends about half her time living in Mexico with her husband and four-year-old son. You have to come here when you're in Mexico City. So when Stanley Tucci of CNN Searching for Italy fame approached Longoria about doing her own international do food series, right. she knew right where to go. The people here are so secure in who they are and where they come from. Searching for Mexico, out later this month on CNN, is just as expansive and informative as its Italian counterpart. Wow. This cooked onions in the grease that's falling from the pork. Yeah, it's amazing. The flavor. It's like a game changer. But she also hopes the series will offer a deeper message about valuing the often overlooked contributions of Latinos and Hispanics in general. This is the Academy Award Room. That's in the Academy Museum of Motion Pictures. Screenplay, directing, best film, best movie, E.T.'s over here. Where she was quick to point out that in the acting categories, there's only been a handful of Latino winners. Latinos are 23% of the box office tickets sold. Do I think we should be more than 5% in, uh, in characters on film? Yes. You know, so yeah, is it frustrating? Absolutely. It's easy to forget the role that made her famous on ABC's Desperate Housewives was really a big step toward diversity. Welcome to the neighborhood. <laughs> well, I am Gabrielle Solis. Would it be better if we came back at another time? There weren't a lot of Latinas on network television back then, but her character, Gabby Solis, became a sassy, sultry superstar. This table is hand-carved. Carlos had it imported from Italy. It cost him $23,000. You want to do it on the table this time? Absolutely. I quickly realized I was going to have a platform or a voice. And my mentor, Dolores Huerta, is the one that actually told me that. She said, one day you're gonna have a voice, so you better have something to say. That was racism! Abajo! That was sexism! Abajo! That's Dolores Huerta, who spent most of her life fighting for the rights of Latinos. Longoria had similar passions, but she didn't want people to listen just because she was a celebrity. This is a movement, people! She wanted them to listen because she actually knew what she was talking about. This machine got me through my master's. Yes, she said master's, as in degree. She got it going to night school at Cal State Northridge while still filming Desperate Housewives. What did the other students think? You like, know, they obviously knew who you were. They were so generous with yeah. me. I mean, the big reason I wanted to get my master's was to better understand where we came from so I could help my community go to where they needed to be. In 2013, she graduated with that master's in Chicano studies. 
It was born from a derogatory term for a community that was seen as less than. And during the Civil Rights Movement, we reclaimed it and we said, you know what? We are. I am. I am a Chicano. I am a Chicana. And action! When she began directing, she could cast Latino actors and hire Latino crews and do stories about Latinos themselves. This is the, uh, the Cheeto factory that we built. Action! Like her first feature film, out in June. Burns good or burns bad? It burns good. It's called Flamin' Hot, a film based on the story of Richard Montañez, a Mexican-American factory worker at Frito-Lay, who claims his blend of homemade spices was the basis for the Flaming Hot Cheeto. I felt in my bones nobody else could direct this movie. I felt that in my bones. By all accounts, Montañez was a gifted marketer of Hispanic products. In fact, PepsiCo, which owns Frito-Lay, said he did help launch Flamin' Hot Cheetos. But the company also said we do not credit the product creation to him and him alone. Did that give you pause? No. You know, we never set out to do the history of the Cheeto. There's a lot of people in his life that said, no, 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 no. Ideas don't come from people like you. You know, no, no, that opportunity is not for somebody like you. I've felt that. And she's using her name to make sure no one else feels that way. The Eva Longoria who worked at Wendy's flipping burgers, she needed a tax break. But the Eva Longoria who works on movie sets does not. She's campaigned for both President Obama and Biden. And in 2014, she co-founded a political action committee. We're here with Latino Victory Project today, which increases Latino political power. Have you gotten any pushback by being so politically active? Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. Yes. And I know you said you don't ever really want to run for office yourself. Yeah, no. But with your platform and your education, why not? Here's the thing. The reality is you don't have to be a politician to be political. And I think that's the biggest myth. People go, you should run for office so you can make a difference. I am making a difference. Yeah. And it turns out she can make a pretty good cocktail, too. Thank you for lunch. Thank you for coming over. Eva Longoria may have been a desperate housewife back on Wisteria Lane, but now she's desperate for change. And that's a road, she says, that never really ends. People always go, oh my God, that show you did back then, that was amazing, must have been the highlight of your career. And I was like, yeah, but wait, wait till you see what's coming. And they say, what's coming? I don't know. I don't know, but it's going to be good. <laughs>